What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to be talking about how to fix PlayStation 4 error CE34878-0 or the common known error PlayStation 4 crashing and freezing. Uh, so this is a, a weird error that usually happens like while you're playing a game or like within the game It just starts to crash and freeze and this error pops up It can happen mid game. It can happen while you're starting the game uh, and it happens within like games itself only uh, And there's a few reasons why this could be happening So I'm gonna kind of like walk you through step by step on what you need to do to be able to like Basically get rid of this error and not have a problem in the future So be sure to watch all the way till the end and let's get right into this uh, so the first thing you guys I would actually recommend you doing is This is like brand new and I'm sure most of you have already tried it But restart your ps4 just turn it off turn it on see if that hopefully helps solve or alleviate your problem If not, that's fine. We'll move on to the next step which for me personally a lot of people like this does help them It helped me personally um, and that is you're going to eject the CD that you're playing. So if it's a actual CD game that you have in your PS PlayStation 4, you're going to eject the CD. Now, once you do that, you're going to actually see that the CD is like dirty. As you can see, there's like some dirt marks. You know, you're trying to like make sure, you know, uh, what's it called? You're going to clean this up. Now, what you can do with this is you can use one of these cloths that they're like supposed to be like very soft. I think cotton cloths. You can use these, not a tissue paper because that's going to leave scratches. You can use this to clean the CD or you can also use that. Plus, there's like cleaning solutions meant for these purposes. And um, I personally use this to clean like my iPad, my laptops, my TV screen and CDs as well. So just to give you an example. And again, all of these will be like linked below for you guys to check out. So you can, like I said, just like you can spray it on. You can see it's covered up. You're going to rub it. As you can see, nothing too crazy. Just like, you know, slight cleaning. Just to show you. Boom. And the CD gets in like good pristine condition, as you can see. Uh, once it's cleaned up, you're basically going to put it back into your PlayStation 4 and you should be good to go from that perspective. Now, hopefully, like I said, this ends up helping you and resolving your error. Um, and then when you should play the game, whatever game it may be, for, uh, whether it's Dark Souls or like Call of Duty, hopefully that ends up helping out for you. Now, if this doesn't work, there is another thing that you can do. And um, that's basically rebuilding your database. And I'm going to show you over here exactly how to do it. I do have a video already on how to rebuild your database. So, <laughs> but <laughs> for the sake of this video, I'm going to actually show you how to do that step by step because uh, it's fine to stay in like one video and like kind of follow it through from beginning to end on what you need to do. Uh, so we're going to actually go down that route. There's another third option and my goal is to make sure you do not have to use that final third option. So we're going to go with rebuilding the database first. So first thing is what you need to, as you saw, I shut my PlayStation 4 off completely. So you need to actually shut it off and not stress about the PlayStation 4 from that perspective. Once it's fully powered off, I'm going to move these things to the side. You're going to hold the power button for five to seven seconds until you hear two beeps. So you heard the first beep. And once we heard the second beep, we're going to let go. That's the second beep and we let go. Just give it some time, you're gonna see the safe mode pop up on the PlayStation 4. And again, if you wanna see this separately on like what exactly is needed for this, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to watch that video, but it should not be necessary. Now, you do need to have a USB-C cable and this wire plugged in for you to be able to like kind of take next steps, because if you don't have it, this will not connect. So as it says, you know, you gotta connect the DualShock 4 using a USB cable, and then you press the start the PS button in the middle. What you're going to do is you're gonna do the number five and rebuild the database. This should, in theory, help you resolve that error. This is like the next step after cleaning that you should be doing to help stop the freezing happening on your PlayStation 4. Um, so before I actually do the rebuilding, and I'm even gonna show you what actually happened so you guys can follow step by step. The final thing you can do is either initialize PlayStation 4, which is going to kind of like reformat your PlayStation 4, or initialize PlayStation 4 with a reinstall system software. This is going to literally reinstall the software itself, so obviously with the latest version, and completely clean out your PS4. This is like the final, final, final thing that you're going to do if 
none of the other ones work uh, and i will leave a few other videos <coughs> excuse me in the description below for you guys to check out and in the comments uh, that will be like somewhat related to this that could help resolve these errors but please try like all of this first and check out the other videos before you take step six or seven because again it's going to delete everything then you're going to have to like re-download all your games re-log in redownload the saves it's a lot of work so we're going to rebuild the database um, and i'm going to show you exactly what happens uh, it does mention it's going to take a few hours it, it doesn't it's never taken me this long i've personally had it corrupted before and i've gotten these errors it's always taking me like a few minutes and you're going to see clearly right now but again uh, just to show you to prove it to you guys that it doesn't take too long and in the meantime, while you guys are waiting, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos such as these. <laughs> Have to do a little plug in the way. All right, as you can see, the PlayStation is starting up. Just let it start up. I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do from here, step by step. All right, awesome. As you can see, it's rebuilding the database. It said 35 seconds. It's going to take less than that. As you can see, it's loading insanely fast. So you don't even have to worry about the time frame from that perspective because of how fast it honestly loads. So we're going to give it some time and five more seconds. It should honestly be done in a few more. And then you'll see the, <coughs> excuse me, the PlayStation 4 actually restart and then we should be good to go. So as you can see, the database has been rebuilt and boom, we're back on my PlayStation thing. I can log in as obviously Mo Gaming. I'm here, and you should be. You should see everything should be good to go. My games are back. My CDs in, and yeah, as you can see, my Dark Souls games there. The database got rebuilt. My Star Wars is there, and I'm good to go over here. So these things should, in theory, help you. There is another one which, again, I will leave you as a link in the description below for you to check out um, for that video. That should also help you resolve this error uh, but that's supposed to be for like non cd versions as well but again this should help you out hopefully it does and do let me know in the comments below if you guys are still having issues i will definitely try to resolve it in my best capability by either making a new video or by answering your comments so please let me know in the comment section below but aside from that if you guys overall <coughs> excuse me found this content helpful and informative please smash that like button it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell aside from that mo gaming out peace